it's a second set of examples on lesson two of the factor theorem lesson. Uh, like I said before, the, the, the examples are a bit too big to do all in one go. So let's have a look at example four. So I'm dividing by 3x minus 1. So I'll go through the pain of doing long division. So it's 3x cubed, 8x squared, minus 3x minus 5. How many times does 3x go into 3x cubed? Well, that's x squared times. x squared times by the divisor. So 3x cubed minus x squared. Top take bottom. 3x cubed take 3x cubed. Then 8x squared minus a minus x squared is 9x squared. Bring down the 3x. What do I times 3x by to make it into 9x squared? Well, that's plus 3x. 3x times by the the 3x minus 1, the divisor, is 9x squared minus 3x. Now, this is interesting because I get 0 out here, but I've still got something to bring down. So that's really 0 lots of x. So I bring down the minus 5. And I keep on going, because I've got to keep going until I've got nothing left to pull down. So what do I times 3x by to make it into 0 lots of x? Well, that's 0. So I've got like a little hidden 0 up there. 0 times by the 3x minus 1 is 0. So if I do top take bottom, put x there, then I've still got the minus 5. I've got nothing to bring down, so that must be the remainder. So that one's a little bit messy there with that zero, but if you just follow the method, you're all right. Right, let's have a look at it then. So my 3x cubed plus 8x squared minus 3x minus 5 is the same as 3x minus 1 times by x squared plus 3x with a remainder of minus 5. Now I'm going to do this a little bit more painstaking. I'm going to divide every term by 3x minus 1. So I've got 3x cubed plus 8x squared minus 3x minus 5. All that is divided by 3x minus 1. So that's the left-hand side of what I want. Then I've got 3x minus 1, x squared plus 3x, all divided by 3x minus 1. Then I've got minus 5 over 3x minus 1. So each term has been kind of divided by 3x minus 1 separately. Now the 3x minus 1s cancel there, so I'm left with an x squared plus 3x. But they don't cancel here. This bit stays the same. So it's minus 5 over 3x minus 1. And people don't like changing it into this form, but that's what it wants. There you go. So that's that example done. Let's have a look at example 5. So example 5 says f of x is there, find f of minus 1. So f of minus 1 is 4 lots of minus 1 cubed minus 7 lots of minus 1 minus 3. So f of minus 1, so minus 1 cubed is minus 1, so that's minus 4. That's a plus 7, that's a minus 3. f of minus 1 is 0, which is quite nifty really. And really important because if f of minus 1 is 0, x plus 1 is a factor and probably something we can use later on. Let's have a look at b now. b says use the factor theorem to show that 2x plus 1 is a factor. So if that's the case, if f of minus a half is 0, then 2x plus 1 is a factor. So that's what I want to find out. Oops. So f of minus a half is 4 lots of minus a half cubed. Uh, where are we? Minus 7 lots of minus a half minus 3. So f of minus a half, I've got, well, minus a half cubed is minus an eighth times by 4 is minus a half. Minus a minus is a plus, so that's 7 over 2 minus 3. I've got minus three and a half there, I've got three and a half there. So if I put in minus a half, I get zero out, which again is quite nice because if f of minus a half is zero, therefore uh, 2x add one 
is a factor. There. So that's A and B done. Right, let's have a look at C now. So C says, let me try and get the question on the board. 4x cubed minus 7x minus 3 over 2x squared plus 3x plus 1. Alright, so you've got to be careful. Did you notice that this top line I've used in parts A and B? If not, you end up trying to factorise it again from scratch. So we've done it. We've got two of the three factors. So I know that x add 1 is a factor. And I know that 2x add 1 is a factor. I've just got to find the third factor. And we can quite easily find that. Because x times 2x is 2x squared. So I'd have to times that by 2x to make it into 4x cubed. 1 times 1 is 1. I'd have to times that by minus 3 to make it into minus 3. The bottom line just cancels out. But what should work is that some of the top ones should be a factor so it cancels out. So if you look on the bottom, it's a 2x add 1 and an x add 1. So 2x add 1's cancel, the x add 1's cancel, and I'm left with 2x minus 3. There you go. Just have a go at the questions and good luck.